I'm grateful to God today. Life is so beautiful. Jesus is so sweet. The Holy Ghost is so real. Inward transformation, salvation, eternity, everlasting life. Life has just begun. A new dawn, a new sunshine, a new river, a new flow, a new vibration, violins in his voice, the sound of the cherubims, the seraphim surrounding. I'm really grateful for the heavenly adobe in paradise, on earth, in life, in Christ, in divinity, in absolute peace, in absolute justice, in absolute mercy, in absolute the words that we speak and the fulfilling of our character and the completion of his word and the truth of his spirit setting us freer and freer and freer and freer and as God begins to create new things and as he begins to expand and upgrade we expand in that expansion we upgrade in that upgraded ability and it's wonderful how he we see everything through him and we live in this realm and then we have to stop seeing money we have to see money as a tool but we have to see the purchases we make as the operation but we have to see god as the head because we keep seeing money i wasted money my money ran out i don't have this in my bank but you didn't see the church you built you didn't see how you upgraded your car to a point where people feel comfortable they feel so eloquent being in your vehicle now everybody wants to hire you for a lift now you're serving them coffee and drinks in an ice chest with a USB cord. Okay, you didn't see all the how you invested in your YouTube channel and whether you only got five more subscribers or only 10 or a thousand, you gained. Okay, you invested in your health, you invested in different businesses, whether they failed, whether you didn't succeed, whether you opted out, you went in something, you used your money wisely. So we have to look at the forefront of our mind and put things in the proper position and we have to dissect we have to be spiritual engineers and we have to look at these things and we have to capture these things we have to behold these things then we have to seek these things then we have to take every honesty point in our soul and we have to speak it to God for the transformation to happen you have to be honest to God for the transformation inside to happen you could do 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 this that 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 and that make 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 this happen try this call this do this do it and still feel more left out than you've ever felt in your life because you tried on your own and you kept trying to try 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 but when you give honesty to god how you really feel you automatically get the transition you automatically get the change you automatically get the transformation you automatically get the download your heart automatically changed now when your heart is changed that problem that you thought that you once had, it no longer exists. It's no longer, it's been removed from reality. It no longer even exists. All the barriers that you put up and you attach them to money, you attach them to your house, you attach them to your mad boyfriend, does not even exist. That veil has been lifted and the true reality of the spirit of the truth of Christ has been ushered in. Now somehow you have more money, you have more success, you have more friendship, you have more loyalty, you have more holiness, you have more purity, you have more cleanliness in that area. Now you have to, one thing I've learned about spiritual things, we have to maintain them. It's easy to gain knowledge, it's easy to get wisdom, tap into things and listen to great people. But maintaining wisdom, maintaining the operation, maintaining the expectation, putting God, what God expects for you in this hour, what God is looking for in this moment, the dreams you're having in this time, and learning how to correlate with that and maintain those in the, and then as you learn expansion, how to maintain expansion, how to maintain the character in this environment, how to maintain the character in that environment, how to maintain this in that environment, and you learn all these different maintaining skills, and when you learn to maintain balance, maintain harmony, maintain sequence, maintain um, this and that, maintain this and that, 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 and that, then you become very wise, then God begins to distribute magnificent things inside of your vocals, inside of your spirit. Forget the outward world. Inside of your spirit, he begins to put diamonds. Inside of your being, he begins to put the seraphims. Inside of your being, he begins to put his own will. Inside your heart and your spirit, he begins to put his own beat. Inside your system and your vocals, he begins to put his own drum set. Okay? In, there are so many transitions and translations. You be in the spirit, and I could think, you have to be very careful what you say. Earlier, my back was hurting, but God told me, I want you to cancel this because I'm your healer. I don't want you to depend on a physician to heal you. I want you to depend on me. But I could think, and I could think towards what I feel. My back hurt, I'm in pain. And then I could say something, 
And because we're emotional beings and the highest grade that I know of, of the memory, it's in the emotional experience. And so when you speak something in the vortex of the emotion, man, I'm sick and tired of this, man, why does, it's very dangerous and it could actually detract your entire day. Just like if you eat bad food and you feel sick all day, it's spiritually, we do these things. But lately I've been being more positive and everything. I've been, I've been raising my vibration. I've been, I've stepped up my worship. I've stepped up my inward spirit, not I want to do this for God. I want this to happen. I want to try to do this. I want to accomplish this. I need this to make this happen. I need this amount of money. I want a better job. All that stuff. I'm learning how to, I'm learning how to de defractalize it and spiritual spiritualize it in to God. But, but there is a weapon, there's a tool, there's an alpha and omega, there's an ultimate point and it's worship. Lately, I've Stop listening to a lot of music I listen to and I've just been worshiping that right there has catapulted me past the third level the fourth level the 50th level the 15th billion level the 17,000 dimension worship has that power so you have to be a being of worship because that that's your design that's what you were created for so that's where your fulfillment it is that's where your completion is now if you're in fulfillment and completion everything in the outer world you know how they, they talk about all these different laws and stuff like that well there is a truth and there is an ultimate truth to that the moment you tap into these things just like if i go into the water it doesn't matter what my bank account said it doesn't even matter what my thought says it doesn't even matter what my feelings say i immersed myself in that water so when you immerse yourself into the spirit things everything around you changes Okay. Now I'm about, I'm about to get my windows tinted today. And I'm excited. And I'm in this realm of God, this place with God, where I'm transitioning so fast. We're moving so quickly. Where I didn't even want to make, I told him I didn't even want to make, but, but we're moving so quickly into the spirit of infinity, into the spirit of eternity, into the everlasting adobe of, of, of God. And it's, it's, it's a movement that's going on in my life. It's very visual. It's very active. It's very um, tangible. It's very just awe inspiring. It's very just, I'm being transcended on all sides. I feel like an archangel on top of an archangel on top of an archangel. Uh, I feel more angelic. I feel just, just, just in me. So that is creating a certain harmony. It's creating a certain frequency because as God teaches me, God, and lately, because there are certain principles in my finances I put into order, all kind of insane things begin to happen. I got a new job the other day. I got a second side hustle. My 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 money has doubled. Um, I have a business that's on the front page of Google now. I have all these different apps. I have, uh, in, but I had to learn how to manage so many different things throughout my day. All these different things, and I saw. So and now I'm now I'm learning how to take shot at them, hit them, and just go every day and tackle them. And all these blessings are unlocking in my life. Favor is unlocking. New vicinities are beginning to given to me. New opportunities are giving to me. New souls are giving to me. New life is being given to me. New things. And, and I'm letting go of certain. And, and as, as, I, as you transition physically, somehow in your mind, the reason why you're not moving forward, you keep saying hallelujah, you keep praying, you keep talking, but your feet on the earth is not transitioning into the opportunity, into the into the checking, into the looking for new jobs, into the education system, into, you know what, I need to get my car fixed, I'm going to go to the car dealership. When you do that, you it translate, you transcend, you you step over. So you could pray for something, you could pray to God for something for a hundred thousand years when all you had to do was walk over there and you would automatically be entered into that favor because God has things stored all over the earth for you. You just have to walk into them. And the hardest part for us to do is to walk into them because fear comes, worry comes, criticism comes, all doubts come. And then we don't even want to move. So we're paralyzed from the movement. But as I'm beginning to move more and he, I had to wait for this because I had to mature. My character had to be at a right degree to handle God's glory. The presence of God that is on my life is much stronger, more potent, more beautiful than it's ever been. But he has had to teach me Many, 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 many things. So I glow. I'm grateful. I'm excited. And I have a million more videos coming for you. I'm going to be uploaded to this platform. I have all kind of books we're finishing. All kind of completions. All kind of knowledge. All kind of revelation that the Holy Spirit is pouring out. We have all kind of things that God is doing and it just never stops. There's the business... The business dimension is being just launched. I'm going into my suit. I'm going into my prosperity. I'm going into my future. I'm going into my gain. I'm going into momentum. I'm going into inertia. I'm going into a launch off. 
Okay, we're catapulting into space beyond what NASA has ever experienced. We're catapulting into the heavens beyond whatever any eagle has ever experienced. And you know what? It's a certain vibration that we that we carry. And this purity, as this purity is submitted into this grain, God begins to imprint, blueprint. He begins to establish a certain divine code inside of your brain, inside of your mind. And when the mind, the mind, see demons come to alter your mind. Their presence automatic, as your presence gets stronger, they can't twist and turn your mind to make you move in a demonic activity. Like you could be feeling godly, but spirits will come and they'll make you turn on other people. They'll make you think thoughts about other people they'll twist you so as your spirit becomes stronger and you carry this momentum they can't twist you so you actually by learning to just be quiet and silent and being there you rip through them you break through their barricade you ricochet through them you break their horns you break their power you break their authority you break because only human beings can give demons authority Satan cannot give his demonic spirits authority. He can give them power. He cannot give them authority because authority comes from the dominion that God has given to us. And people think that he has, the devil has dominion and stuff. No, because in Christ, people like Adam gave away his dominion. Yes, he did. But in Christ, it's been restored. Not only the dominion of, of earth has been restored, but the dominion of eternity has been restored. The uh, dominion of the kingdom of God has been restored. So even, I'm glad Adam sinned in the garden because when he, when he sin that we became like God now we now not only forget just eating the fruit we receive the spirit which is greater than the creation of the fruit okay now we can go deep if you want we go unlock some things in the spirit you know people are always trying to unlock demons and stuff the way you unlock higher angelic powers the way you un unlock higher levels of God is you speak his mysteries you, it's all about the word. The entire Bible is the word. The entire focus and emphasis of creation is the word. The entire, the entire vocabulary, the storehouse is the word. So you, in the word, you, you release the mysteries of God. You release the word of God. Now, I think I'm going to have to stop this video because it's getting deep up in here. And there's a, see, you don't, you can't go too deep. You can't be in a certain deep dimension around certain people. So if I'm going to a kindergarten school, I have to learn to prepare myself for a kindergarten school. Now, if I'm going to get around the brotherhood, if I'm going to get around a select few, and if we're going to go to the deepest court and the deepest chambers of the Holy Ghost, well, then I prepare myself. Now, if I just think I'm going to go there, unless God tells me otherwise, it's about preparing myself to reach that depths. Okay. Now, when I prepare and learn how to reach and I begin my day, see, oh, I'm loving this because now that I'm talking about these things, okay. So I'll be back. I know you blessed are those that are hungry and thirsty for righteousness. We're not here just quoting scripture and saying hallelujah and sending you home so you can go to Denny's. We're going we gonna to tap into some things here. We're going to unlock some things here. We're going to go some places in here. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.